Hi parents, uh, we're going to talk about our shoulder rest today. So first what we need to do is put the shoulder rest together. And I have a shoulder rest right here. When it comes in the box, you'll get a tall leg and a short leg. And the shoulder rest will look like this. There's a big side, or I tell the kids there's a fat side and a skinny side. And so when you put the legs in, the short side is going to go with the wide side. And you just screw it in. And this side, you screw it all the way in. And the skinny side is going to have the long leg. And you screw that in also. But this time we're not going to screw it in all the way, just part of the way, maybe halfway. Okay, and then we've got our shoulder rest together. Um, the shoulder rest also has two screws on either side to adjust how long or how narrow you make the shoulder rest. And we want it to fit on the widest part of the violin, so it's going to fit around the widest curves. And when I teach the kids how to put this on, I actually have them stand up and put the violin in between their legs so they have both hands to work with. It's easier to hold it if you have two hands. So they've got their two hands free, and they're gonna match the, the large side, the fat side of the shoulder rest, with the side of the violin that has our chin rest on it. So the big side goes with the chin rest, is what I tell the kids. So when they put it on, they're gonna start with that big side and fit the legs around the curve, and then pull the skinny side down so it fits along the curve and it's going straight across the violin and the legs are facing in. And it should be pretty snug once you've got it on. And the purpose for the shoulder rest is to help get the violin flat on our shoulder so we have a great posture. So when we put it on our shoulder, it's going to look like this. And our violin is essentially flat parallel with the floor. Um, so that is the shoulder rest. Um, if you have any questions, you can give me a call or shoot me an email and I'll walk you through this again. Okay, thanks.